Hey, here we are coming to you from the beautiful city of Barcelona, Spain, or as the locals would call it, Barcelona, Catalonia. They actually have their own language in this region called Catalan that's not even similar to Spanish. So it's definitely a region that's very proud of its history and its accomplishments. There's architecture, there is amazing food, there's something for everybody here. And in two days, we're gonna try to do everything we can. So come with us and enjoy Barcelona. The hotel that was included with our package was a little bit nicer than the one in London. It wasn't quite as conveniently located, but it seems like all of Barcelona is within walking distance. Here we are at our first tapas bar in downtown Barcelona. Sagrada Familia is a destination in Barcelona that is not to be missed. It's designed by local architect Antonio Gaudí in 1883, and it's still under construction today. Every facet of this cathedral is filled with symbolism. Thankfully, you get an audio guide with your 26 euro entrance fee. Now the guide is on your phone, so it would be a really good idea to bring some earbuds. Mercado de Saint Yosef La Boqueria is a public market that dates back to the 13th century. You can find an amazing variety of different foods. Now if you get in a bind and you go to the restroom, it costs a euro, but here's the secret. You show them a receipt, it's free. Now it didn't take Clark long to find some seafood. Clark surprised me with a hot air balloon trip, and I have to say, it was one of the coolest things I've ever done. The views of the Spanish countryside were outstanding. Casa Bateo is another famous Gaudí site. Gaudí redesigned this family home in 1902 with his trademark naturalistic design. When you enter, it looks like you are under the sea with all kinds of swirls and blue tones. When you journey to the roof and peek over, it looks like the back of a dragon. The entrance fee to this Barcelona landmark is 35 pounds. We headed to the coast to find an awesome restaurant full of amazing seafood, and we had the cutest waitress ever. Okay, I'm sitting here on La Rambla, which is a big avenue that goes all the way down to the Mediterranean from the center of town. Barcelona is a walker's paradise. There's something around every corner that's unexpected, and it's really just an adventure to go for a stroll and see what you can see.
Our last day in Barcelona was September 11th, which was also Catalonia's Independence Day, and I got to watch some reenactments of that historic event. Hope you enjoyed these tidbits from Barcelona, and now we're off by train to Madrid. See you next time.